Hello everybody, thanks for joining us for another editor scripting tutorial where we are designing an enemy designer tool uh, through editor scripting. Now if you aren't following with the series and you want to create this tool then I recommend you start from earlier tutorials. Uh, if you're watching and you just want to know how to create a float field for your editor window then you might want to skip ahead. Otherwise we have some preliminary functions to create before we can actually support our float field. Okay, so first we need to add the draw settings function here, which is going to act as a supporting function to support all of our data fields for mage, warrior, and rogue. And this is exactly why we created our data setting settings type enumeration earlier in the previous tutorial. And we set that in our open window function. Because in on GUI, we need, we need to know if we're modifying mage info, warrior info or rogue info and so what we're doing is we're passing not the mage data in this case but we're passing the character data version of mage data so let's take a look at our character data class so we can understand this our secondary editor window is only going to be modifying these uh, variables which is our base class now we have mage data which we modified in our primary editor window where we modify damage type and weapon type. Now again, our secondary window only needs to care about these variables, which is why we are passing the character data version of our mage info, warrior info, and rogue info. And now in this draw settings function, we are actually going to be uh, creating our data fields for our editor window. Okay, so to do that, we want to write the following code. Okay, so on the right side of our assignment operator, we have the editor GUI layout uh, float field function call. And as a parameter, we're passing the value that we want to be modified. This function is going to return a float so we can actually update our float fields, which is max health and max energy. Now, if we go back and look at the effects of this, we're going to run into an issue that we ran into in a previous tutorial where we don't have any information on what that field is actually for. So we have two float fields here, but we don't know uh, exactly what these values are manipulating. So we need to have a label to the left of these fields that give us more information. So similarly, how we did in a previous tutorial, we're going to create a horizontal row by using editor GUI layout dot begin horizontal and in this row we want to include a GUI layout dot label for max health we can say that this label is max health and anytime we have a begin function call we want to have a corresponding uh, end function call so we have we have begin horizontal so we want to include end horizontal And we want to do a similar thing for our max energy. The only difference is instead of max health for our label, we want to modify that to say max energy. And now if we go back, we can see that those labels were inserted properly to the left of our float fields. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.